Hi and welcome to how to make an action RPG in Godot 4. In this episode we will be looking into how we can move our player using key input. I originally wanted to do both movement and animation in one episode, but I decided to split it in two. I feel this will make each video more focused, but please let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Also at the end of this episode I will have a small addition to the last episode I make. Please make sure to check it out. And now let's get started. Okay, so before we make our player move, we have to create a world that it can actually move around in. To do this, we create a new scene. So choose scene, new scene from the menu bar at the top left, and then create a 2D scene node as the root. I am renaming the root node world since this is the world our player will be moving around in. Okay, so now save the scene in a new folder. I'm making a folder called scenes directly in the rest folder. Now we want to add an instance of our player scene to our new world scene. So we locate the player scene in the file system menu and click and drag it onto the root node of our world scene. The player node in our world scene is now an instance of the player scene we created earlier. Click and drag the player into the middle of the viewport in the world scene. The thin blue line shows where the limits of the viewport is. Now you can try to run the current scene or you can run the whole project. To run the whole project, press the play button three icons left of the run current scene icon. You'll be prompted to confirm what the main scene of the project should be. For now, just choose Select Current, and now we can see that our little player is drawn in the size we want and at the location we just defined. And now we are finally ready to create our first script and get our player moving. Go to the player scene, right click on the root node and select Attach Script, and hit Create to create a new script for our player. There's a lot of default code when we create a new script like this. We delete almost all of it except the first line. This script needs to extend from character body 2D. Okay, so our script needs to do three things. First, it has to get the movement direction from the input. Then it needs to set the player's velocity to the movement direction multiplied by the speed we want the player to move in. And finally, it has to make our player node move in the right direction. I start by creating a new function to handle input. Here we use the input get vector function to get the direction we want the player to move in. This function returns a direction vector by specifying four actions for the positive and negative x and y axis. This also means that the order of the four input values to this function is important. Next, I set the player node's velocity to the move direction and create a new function called physics process. This is a built-in callback function and it will be called by the engine before each physics step. Godot also has another function called process, but in general we want to handle movement and anything else that might depend on the node state in the physics process function. In the physics process function I then call our handle input function and the built-in move and slide function. We could also move the player using the move and collide function, but I prefer the slide functionality for games like this. I will leave a link in the description to where you can read more about these two move functions if you like. And now it's time to test again. Two things are happening here. The player is moving left when I press the right key and right when I press the left key. And it's also moving super slow. Like I said earlier, the order of the inputs for the input.getVector function is really important. Left and right movement is currently switched because I accidentally swapped the names for the left and right keys. I'm just gonna swap them back here. And next, we need to specify at what speed the player should be moving. So we make a speed variable at the top of the script. The export tag enables us to edit this variable not only from the script, but also from the player notes inspector menu. The last thing we then need to do 
is multiply the move direction with the speed when we assign it to the velocity. When we test again, we can now see that the player is moving around just like we wanted to. Okay, so the last new thing I will be showing you in this episode is how we can change the key mapping for our game. Currently, we can only use the arrow keys to move our player, but we also want to be able to move around using the WASD keys. Open the project settings and click the input map tab. Enable show built-in actions and scroll down to UI left, right, up and down. To bind a new key to an action, we click the plus sign to the right Press the key we want to bind and click OK. Do this for all the four direction actions we are using. And now we are able to use both the arrow keys and the WASD keys to move the player around. Before I finish this episode, I want to add a small update to the last episode I made. We initially set the texture filter on the root node of the player. But I got a comment to the video saying we should be able to set this on a project level in Godot 4. So I looked into it and this is how it's done. We go to the project settings, then we locate rendering, then textures, then we can set the default texture filter here. If we set it to nearest here, then all the nodes will by default use this filter. And that's how it's done. And that's all for now. In the next episode, we will look into how we can animate our player. Thank you so much for watching along, and please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you want more content like this. Bye!